Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to count blanks within a cell range. We have a cell range here, A1 to B6, and it looks like there are eight blanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, these yellow ones, seven and eight. But these are not really truly blanks. There are three spaces here. You'll notice if I press the backspace, one, two, three, the cursor moves back. Let me control Z to undo that. Also, let me escape here. Also, there is a formula in cell B6. If I click into B6, you'll see that there's a formula. What it, this formula is doing is if it's looking to see is B5 blank. Is B5 blank? If that's true, then bring back B5. If that's not true, bring back a blank. That's what these two quotes, uh, these two double quotes do. They're just saying insert a blank if it is uh, not blank. We'll notice that the formulas here, I've got four examples here. It looks like it's doing it correctly in some cases and incorrectly in others. But we'll show you, I'll go through each one of them and show you what it's doing. Now the first example here is using a function called the count blank. And what the count blank does is it counts all the cells that have non-values, empty cells. So it's going to count this cell, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. The second formula here is using a series of functions that are trying to count the cells here. What it's doing is, is looking at the rows function. What rows does is count the number of rows within the cell range. So we have A1 to B6. So it's counting the rows. There's six rows here. It's multiplying that with this function, this columns function, which is counting the number of columns within this range, A1 to B6. There's only two columns. So 6 times 2 is 12. Now it's going to subtract this count A function. What this count A function does is within the cell range, A1 to B6, it's going to count all the cells that have a value. So that's what the count A function does. And what it's going to do now is it's going to look at rows times columns, 6 times 2, which is 12, then minus 6. That's what gives us our 6 here. So that's what it's doing. Our second formula here is using the count if function. And what the count if function does is it's looking at cell A1 to B6, that range, and this count is going to count any everything in here that contains a blank. So what these do, two double quotes do is it's telling Excel, hey, count this range if there are blanks. So it's going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to count this because basically this formula is telling us that it's a blank. It's, it's using these two quotes here. Now the third formula here is using the count if function and using an equal sign. So what the equal sign does is it looks for an absence of values. So it's going to count if this cell range and it's going to look for an absence of values. It's going to count 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a value because it's got three spaces and there's a value here because there's a formula there. That's why it's counting it. So let me show you some examples. If I delete these three spaces, what's going to happen? Let me delete these three spaces. And now you notice that it has changed all the different functions here, the count blank, because that's a blank now. And this particular formula, it's going to count that because that's a blank. Now, if I did something here where I changed that formula, let me bring this one back, or let me press Control Z to undo that. If I remove this function here, if I took that and press Delete, so now that this formula is gone, it's counted as a blank. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blanks. Of course, this one is not blank because even though it has three spaces, it looks like it's a blank, but those spaces are values. And that's why it does not get counted for all of them. If I remove the space here, you'll notice now that it's going to count everything. All right, it's going to be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right? So those are the different ways that we can use to count blanks within a cell range. You just need to remember that in certain instances where you have spaces or you have formulas, let me control Z to undo that formula change here, we have formulas that re result back in blanks, those are going to get counted depending on which particular formulas you use. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.